I had no idea Perth was this pretty. <laughs> from Perth, Australia. It's my first time here and this is my second day. Yesterday I just walked around the city and my first impression was so good. I'm somewhat embarrassed to say that my preparation when coming to Perth was basically they are cheap flights from Bali. I've never been to Australia. I want to see a kangaroo. Let's book a flight. That's basically all the research I did. But once I arrived I started actually looking up all the things you can do and there's so many things, like Perth, the city itself is super nice, super modern. Um, there are kangaroos, apparently, which, but also nearby you can go to Fremantle, there are beaches, there are quokkas, which I had no idea existed. Um, so yeah, tons of stuff to do. So I can't wait to explore the city, visit the Botanic Gardens, Rock Nest Island, and just enjoy the beautiful sights of Perth. Honestly, it feels a bit like some sort of like resort town, but it's the capital of Western Australia, so it's like a big city. I think 1.5, 1.6 million people are actually living here, but it has such a nice vibe. The moment I arrived in Perth, I immediately noticed how clean and modern the city is. I really enjoyed just walking around the central business district and looking at the incredible architecture. I was also amazed by how easy it was to get around by public transportation. By the way, these cat buses are completely free. The next bus will arrive in 5 minutes. To me, one of the main factors that contribute to a high quality of life is how easy it is to get around without having to use a car. Perth really blew me away with its walkability, bikeability, and free public transportation in the downtown area. I really enjoyed the central business district with its cool and modern architecture. However, there was one thing on my to-do list, which I definitely could not find here. I'm at Hyrison Island, which is uh, where the Kangaroo Sanctuary is located. It's only a half an hour walk from the central business district and I'm ready to find some kangaroos. It's so cool, like, you have skyscrapers in the background and it's like the middle of nature. <gasps> there was one goal I had set for myself on this trip and that was to find a kangaroo. Well, not a kangaroo. No kangaroos in sight yet. While I was amazed to see a kangaroo for the first time, it did lack a bit of enthusiasm. So the next day I made my way to Ratnest Island to see another animal which I hoped would be a bit more excited to hang out. I am on Ratnest Island, home of the quokkas, the cutest mixture between rats and rabbits I have ever seen. A Dutch guy came here for the first time. He basically thought the quokkas were rats. <laughs> so he called the island Rot's Nest Island. But they're cute. They're the tamest white animals you would ever see. They just don't give a <laughs> Like they don't, they don't care if you're right next to them taking selfies. They're so cute. But apart from quokkas, the island also has beautiful beaches. You can go for walks. And the best thing is it's only a one and a half hour ferry ride from Perth. There are several ways to explore the island, such as going by bus, renting a bicycle or hiking on one of the many trails. I decided to go on a three hour hike, which took me along beautiful beaches with crystal clear water, amazing stone formations and incredible nature. It's just stunning, like everywhere. I'm like, I don't even know where to look, like 360 degrees of 
absolutely amazing views. <laughs> it feels just impossible to wipe that grin off my face. <laughs> I mean, look at this. So the hike continued in the hopes of finding one of these adorable quackas. Unfortunately, again, the bird seemed way more excited to see me than the quokka. I guess I'm out of luck when it comes to animals. So instead, I decided to visit some plants the next day and go to the botanic garden. And once again, Perth kept delivering. <laughs> There even is a treetop walk with amazing views of the city. Like the location of this botanical garden is just perfect because it's not too far from the city centre, but from here you have the best views of the central business district. And of course they also have free walking tours. What an amazing city! I can highly recommend visiting. I was blown away and it exceeded my expectations by far. I hope you enjoyed this video, if yes please leave a like and if you want to see more videos like this one, subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!